You can call it a new beacon of light for Lower Manhattan. Added to the World Trade Center site is a $500 million center for performance and creative expression. Long awaited. CBS yes. 2's Dave Carlin was at the grand opening of the Perlman Arts Center today. This giant cube dazzling and drawing crowds to a shape-shifting art space. The grand opening had VIPs, song, and dance. Can we see this ray of hope? Tony Award winner Gavin Creel was joined by ballet students from the Joffrey School. Now, even now. The chairman of the board for Pearlman Art Center is former Mayor Michael Bloomberg. And today we inaugurate the last major piece of the rebuilding of the World Trade Center site. The center at 251 Fulton Street is the work of Rex Architecture Firm. In the core of the building, the heart of the building, are these really dynamic theaters. There's three and they're extremely reconfigurable. This interior space is by the Rockwell Group. The combination of elements, the memorial, the museum, in the Performing Arts Center, you have to come up the stairs and you're entering a place that's about creativity and art and possibilities. Somewhere a place for us. We need places like this to give us that sense of hope again. It renews our spirit. There is a dazzling difference between day and night, the thin marble panels and a glowing from within this place full of life. Being part of the World Trade Center site is so important to our mission. You can walk in anytime we're open. We're going to have Marcus Samuelson's restaurant, you know, for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We're going to have free performances on the lobby stage. So I do think just a place to come and hang out. These theaters are buzzing with activity, urgently setting the stages for the start of performances September 19th. In Lower Manhattan, Dave Carlin, CBS 2 News. It looks spectacular. It really mm -hmm. does. And just the setting and the sentiment. And, and to hear that, the final piece down there, extraordinary.